So today we got some actually like some great news about uh, Modern Warfare 2 Season 3. Obviously I don't give a fuck about the maps, but one of the things that are coming back is the Intervention. Now even if you haven't even played Call of Duty, you guys probably already know what the Intervention is. The Intervention is probably one of the most iconic sniper rifles in Call of Duty history. Some others may beg, beg to differ, like you know, like a Ballista from Black Ops 2. But there is not a doubt, if you hear this sound, Every single person recognizes that sound. It's the intervention from Modern Warfare 2. Now this is actually the second time they are actually remastering it. The first time was actually from um, Infinite Warfare and they made that significantly weak, but it looks like right now they're not making that same mistake again. I need to get an RPG class. I cannot stand that fucking chopper just gunning everyone down. Now for some people who have never played Call of Duty in your life, I want you to look up one montage. I want you to look up iReef's um, Ascendancy montage. That is probably one of the most iconic montages ever in Call of Duty history. Or the best of iReef's. I'm leaving that map, I can't literally stand it. Ascendancy is probably one of the best montages I have ever seen now. I know there's multiple versions of it, I kind of forget what version um, I'm kind of remembering it. Everyone in the Call of Duty sniping community probably knows who iReeps is. I don't know why, but my game is like lagging really bad. So if you haven't watched iReeps, look up the best of iReeps it's called, and or, or look up Ascendancy from iReeps. But in all of his Modern Warfare 2 videos, he uses the intervention and sometimes the Baird 50 cal. Now, I'm not sure if he was the first one, but um, I Reaps actually hit like a 5-in-1. Like, I'm pretty sure he was the first one to hit a 5-in-1 in, in a Call of Duty game. It was either a 5-in-1 or it was some, or it was a quad headshot feed, but he was either the first to do that. Ah, oh, shit, my fucking controller died at the worst moment. Now, I'm pretty sure- I forgot what this person's name is called, but one person was actually able to test out the intervention. It was some pro player, I forgot what the name was called, but he actually got to be able to test intervention out. Um, I'm not sure if he made any comments on it, I haven't checked Twitter yet, but yeah. Um, so this is confirmed to be in the game during Season 3, if it wasn't already obvious enough. But, in this Season 3 update, um, we're gonna be getting more horrible ass maps that I honestly do not care about. The problem with Modern Warfare 2 is, it's not, it's not about the gameplay, it's about how the fuck these maps w work. These maps just do not have any type of flow. Now see, in Farm 18 there is kind of some flow, like people go on these sides or whatever, or go inside this middle apartment thing, I don't know what it's called, factory. Oh shit! Yabba dabba doo! Aw, oh, fuck. Oh, let's fucking go! More people, please. No! I just missed a fucking quad, dude! Quad opportunity just fucking blown. Oh my gosh, you laying on the damn ground like a fucking slug. There's my quad feed, holy shit! So yeah, I'm really excited for these new updates and everything, and I just got fucking exploded. Really excited for this new Season 3 update with the intervention, but these maps need to fucking change or something. We need to add, like, some more retro maps or something, because, yeah, these new maps have no fucking flow. Please do not, like, fuck this up. There's gonna be- I know some way, somehow, they're gonna fucking, like, you know, fuck this up somehow, but hopefully just they don't. They make something, like, good this time. Oh my gosh, the fucking sentry gun. And I'm final fucking kill. So yeah guys, hopefully you guys are excited as me because um, I'm really excited for this intervention and hopefully if Call of Duty doesn't fuck this up. But yeah, see you guys later in Season 3 hopefully and yeah, bye.